Hello, and welcome. Welcome to phase four of my Star Trek Online playthrough. Technically, it started in the last part when I did Age of Discovery. I just forgot to mention it, so I'm mentioning it now. We're into phase four of my playthrough, which is going to be the final phase. I'm going to wrap everything up that's left in Star Trek Online's story playthrough. And one note I have to make. <laughs> I, I have to show this here. I, I don't know. I don't know what's doing this here. Hold on. Hold on. I, I, have, to, I have to show you this game. <laughs> I, I have to show you this. I don't know what's doing this. But I, every time, like, since probably last week sometime, three of my away team members are at least on... The menu screen here. I've been defaulted to to Braille. It's a very weird bug. I don't I don't know what what triggered this. It's been like this. It's been like this since last week. <laughs> I have gone in and tried to change around the um, uh, the uh, ground crew just to see if that would correct this. It it didn't. So I. I, there's going to be three Tyrells on my uh, menu screen. Anyway, what I was saying, in regards to uh, Phase 4, oh yeah, we have the piece, I didn't talk about that. Um, I'm trying, what, what I want to do, is I want to try and time my playthrough so that it ends when the last part of the Terran arc comes out. Which, last I heard, was supposed to happen during the anniversary event, which should be in February. So, my plan is to try and time things out so that I can kind of end the playthrough in February. When the final part of the Terran Gambit storyline comes out. So Now, because of that, it means I probably will have to space some of my playthroughs apart. A bit further apart than I normally would, so. So I may have to limit it to like maybe one part a week. Maybe going forward from this point on. I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, because I only have this part and the Klingon War to do before I get to the Terran stuff. And there's not a whole lot of... And then, and then that's it, you know. Okay, then we're done. Anyway, if you watched the last part, yes, we did the Age, age of... Uh, blech. Age of Discovery, which is basically the Discovery intro missions, which, you know, they're okay, I guess. <laughs> they have... <clears throat> they have some dr dramatic, uh... A, a little too dramatic acting involved, but... And I tried to have fun with it by using Discovery themed ship and, um... Those god-awful Discovery outfits, which I'm... You'll be happy to know I've done away with. I've gone back to our standard outfit now. I've only made a few minor change, minor cosmetic changes to the, uh, the crew. Most of them really have not changed. I probably, ch I changed the hairstyles up on them every now and then between parts here. I made uh, Elisa's hair is a little more red than it was before. You know. I decided to stick with the beard and the hair on Umla because I thought it looked better than his previous look, so he's, he he's gonna be rocking that look now. I think it looks better that way. So anyway, tonight we are starting the aptly named Ju'ula's Discovery Arc, which as I mentioned last time, doesn't really have a whole lot of Ju'ula in it. And um, and this story arc, I actually consider the story arc to be kind of filler, because it feels, it feels like filler. There's like, if you look at it, there's like three discrete storylines crammed into here <laughs> and all three of them don't really have a lot to do with each other so we're going to do the first storyline tonight which covers the first two episodes tonight oh the red alert thing is still going i need to make sure i finish this up too so we'll do i'll do a bit of this after we do the uh, story tonight and then we'll see what the the last part of the event campaign has started, so 
it's not a big deal to me because like you see on the screen i've already finished the event campaign but um what are the rewards i don't remember what the rewards are for this i think it was um does it say what it is Worm and bug hunt. Oh, you get a oh the universal get monitor the uh, beedrip probes. Right. I'll do one of those tonight too. Okay. Anyway, so let's uh get to it here. Harapakem. I am the leader of a Vulcan research team studying the unique ecology of the planet Pavo. While on personal leave. I've learned that the team has not responded to routine communications. This is a matter of concern. Starfleet has informed me that an ion storm is active in the Pavo system. Logic suggests that the storm is blocking communications. However, storms of that magnitude can have other effects, some of a deleterious nature. As a precaution, the Alliance has asked me to accompany your vessel to the Pavo system. We are to determine the status of the research team and offer assistance if necessary. I am prepared to leave at your earliest convenience. Alrighty. To Pava we go. I guess technically this is the beginning of the Mirror Universe Terran stuff. But this is like Discovery Terran stuff that we're getting into. So, I mean, yeah, the next two story arcs are mainly Discovery focused. But, you know, at least I don't have to wear the stupid uniforms anymore. You know, originally those uniforms didn't really bother me all that much, but then it's like after looking at them in the game for so long compared to so much better options I have, they really are kind of bad. <laughs> like even even the, uh, the, the the boiler suits they had in Enterprise I think were better. They just need more color to them. I have played around with the uniforms before and added color to them. They look better if, if you add more color to them. It's just that monotone blue and gold just... It doesn't work. Also, I hate their... If their ranking system they have on the uniforms is honestly stupid. Because it's so hard to tell the difference between ranks. I don't know I don't know why the costume designers thought that was a good idea. Just use frickin... Just use, just use pips and rank pins. It's the simplest solution. I don't know what they were doing on Discovery. It didn't make any sense. Technically, they do kind of have pips, but they're on the badges. But they're so small, you can't even see them. So it's, it's like, what's 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 the point? Anyway, uh, we're here. Pavo. Pavo, Pavo, Pavo. Behind the star, obviously. Remember Pavo from that one episode of Discovery? Yeah, I honestly, honestly forgot the episode. It's, it was so long ago when I watched it. <laughs> Have a little bit of tea. A little bit. Don't keep me awake. And go.
Admiral, there is no response on comms from the Pavo Research Station. The ion storm is causing a lot of interference, however. It's possible our hails may not be reaching them. What's causing the interference? I mean, I can probably tell it's the ion storm, but please tell me to roll. The storm oh, is creating yeah, never mind. spatial disturbances throughout the system. If we analyze their patterns, we might be able to position the ship at a point where communication is possible. Agreed. Uh, begin the scan. Initial scans are picking up clouds of ionized subspace radiation and chronometric particles. This is curious. Sensors are registering a stationary object. It is not far from our position. An object? Is it a ship? Is it... Is it a wayward time traveler? Is it... What's his face? I forgot his name. <laughs> da is it Daniels? If it's Daniels, I'm leaving. A navigation Unlikely. I suspect it, it is one of the star navigation buoys placed throughout the system. However, the ionization of subspace is warping and distorting the sensors. As a result, an accurate identification is not possible at this range. All right, let's get closer. We might learn more there. Better not be Daniels. The navigational buoys here are configured to broadcast a message on all frequencies. It is intended to inform those who arrive here that Pavo is a protected reserve. Sensors indicate heavy hull ionization on this buoy. I believe it has been disabled by the effects of the ion storm. Hmm. An active buoy could boost our signal. Scan for one in range. Navigational buoy 226 is nearby and should provide us with a means to reinforce hailing frequencies between the ship and the Pavo research station. However, I recommend caution in navigating further into the system. The ion storm is quite volatile. Agreed. Helm, I in a course for navigational buoy 226. Uh, pick up the pace a bit here. You are entering the Pavo system. The planet Pavo is a protected reserve. Access is prohibited. Understood. Ready to initiate handsha handshake between our comm systems and navigation buoy 226 now. Proceed. Handshake received. Fidelity is within acceptable margins of error. Comms are secured. Admiral. Healing frequency is open. Alright. Research station. Pavo Prime. This is the Valorous. Please respond. Over. No response. Local conditions are still a factor here. The boys may not be able to overcome the storm's interference, even with our assistance. Looks like we'll have to brave the storm. I have detected something of interest. Sensors show the formation of a spatial anomaly nearby. Don't say that. Don't, don't say spatial anomaly. I don't want I don't want spatial anomalies. That's oh, fine. Is it is it the source of the signal disruption? Uncertain. It appears to be providing stability to the ion storm, similar to the eye of a hurricane. I'm also detecting bursts of comm signals from the anomaly. The signals are currently garbled beyond recognition, but they could be from the research station. I recommend conducting a deeper analysis, both of the anomaly and the signals. Acknowledged. Helm, Elena, course, and take us in.
Just get us in range. We don't want to drive into it. And that's close enough. Oi! What the... Discovery. I ISS Discovery! Oh no, it's... Klingons. Prepare to meet 25th Century Federation Tech Klingons. Frequency is open. Yes, it's sent. No response. Another unanswered question. So much. Um, would you like to analyze this situation? Recognition files identify the Klingon vessels as classes deployed during the Federation Klingon conflict of the mid 23rd century. The Starfleet vessel is a crossfield class also active during that time period. Um, oh god, it's, it's time travel. Again, I can't get away from time travel. What the hell? What, 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 is this my life now? Scan for chronometric particles. Scanning. Sensors show a spike in chronometric particles immediately preceding the arrival of these vessels. Fascinating. Um, find something? The Crossfield class vessel is not transmitting a Starfleet recognition signal. Sensor analysis confirmed. It is the ISS Discovery from the Terran Empire of the so-called Mirror Universe. Uh -huh. Okay. I explain why they haven't answered our hails. It is an old ship, though. Why is it here? Admiral, the Discovery is hailing us now. On screen. Let's see what they have to say. Will they want you to just kill us? Well, keep your weapons locked on the ship, please. Your timely assistance is most appreciated. Speaking for myself and my loyal crew, thank you. I am Captain Sylvia Tilly, and I officially declare our intent to seek asylum. Uh. Clearly, this is going to take a little getting used to. I'm not entirely sure how, but judging by the sensor readings I'm seeing, and that rather impressive ship of yours, we've taken a trip to the future. Indeed, over 150 years. That's so much. Is, am I supposed to know who this is? I don't know who this person is. I'm sure the science behind all of this is fascinating, but we have some more immediate concerns to address. Namely, the Klingon boarding parties running wild on my ship. Uh, sir, I just checked the historical records database. Uh, most of the discovery files are not... are classified, but we do know that it was Captain Gabriel Lorca. I don't know who this person is. And Pike apparently had command temporarily, but we're not sure when that happened. Uh... Should I send an away team? I don't know. I don't think that's a good idea. I mean, in Terran Empire, Mirror Universe people usually try to kill us in every turn they get. 
Oh, okay, fine. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be different this time. Maybe it'll be good. Hey, it's always possible. Sure, I can send an away team to assist. Excellent. I'll have Patel, my chief of security, meet your team at the transport coordinates with the security detail. I look forward to meeting you in person. Tilly out. Acknowledge, we're on our way. Make sure your phasers are set to go as soon as you beam aboard. Alright, who's going? Uh, Colas, Mink and Lot. Yeah, we'll, we'll go aggressive here. Actually, no, we'll leave Colas on board. Let's bring. Bring Mr. New. Sensors indicate numerous life signs in your vicinity, reading multiple high energy discharges as well. The data is consistent with 23rd century phaser and disruptor weapons at the highest setting. Mm. Proceed with caution. In the heat of battle, you could be seen as an enemy by anyone you encounter there. Understood. Even out. You heard the man. 21st century tech. The ISS Discovery. You are not Chief Patel, because I remember Patel from the simulation. Yeah, no. I'm afraid Patel has been relieved of command. Just like you're going to be relieved of those fancy 25th century weapons. See, what did I tell you? I suspect your captain wouldn't approve of this. Our captain is weak, and you? You're a fool. The Terran Empire tolerates neither. Some would call this a mutiny. But any captain willing to conspire with Federation trash is no captain of ours. Now hand over those weapons, or we'll pick them off your corpses. The choice is yours. Our weapons stay with us, so... Stand down while you still can. I'm gonna give you a fair warning. Nope. Okay. Grenade. As you can see, things have become a bit more complicated. It seems that some of my crew have decided that now is the perfect time to express their concerns with my command decisions. You don't say. Violently, it would seem so. It's like the only way they know how to do anything. Hmm. Yes. As if the Klingon boarding parties weren't enough to deal with. Oh, hey! Let's have a mutiny, too! Wonderful! Never mind that. Did Chief Patel make it to you? She was supposed to escort you through the security fields to the bridge. No, she's not here. The fields are... The fields still are, though. I see. We'll do what we can from the bridge, but I'm afraid we're a bit locked down here at the moment. According to our internal sensors, Chief Patel is in that deck security station. It's not far from your current position. She's probably trying to lock down this ridiculous mutiny there. I see. Find Patel. She should be able to override whatever the mutineers are doing to raise those fields. Take them down and make your way to the turbo lift. Acknowledged. We're on our way. So... Panel. I know how to work these 21st century panels on a classified starship. As <laughs> I'm an admiral. Huh. Sounds like our guests got a warm I know up. these things. Look out! A chance of that. It's like, why why are they so predictable? They're always going to attack. Expecting high energy reading numerous life sign on the other side of the door. Okay, thank you, Brandon Lot. Now that I have your attention, I have some questions. Tilly 
has plans. Yes? She always has plans. And you're going to tell me what they are. Oh, you'll resist, of course. You're a Terran, after all. But let's be honest, Chief. You will tell me what I want to know. <laughs> Apparently, Tilly's new allies are still with us. Uh, we're just here for convenience. We're not allies. If you want something done right. Weapons at high ascetic. Open fire! Why do why do they bother? You know. Uh, help me! Controls are on the booth. All right, get out. Now you, Upper Tail, I recognize you. I'm guessing you're the one the captain sent me to meet. I'm Patel, Chief of Security. Thanks for the assist. Are you all right? I make it a habit to be on the outside of an agonizer booth. Spend my fair share of time in one, too. I'll manage. What's the situation? Is the captain still in command? He is, for now. <laughs> I'm not surprised. It'll take more than Klingons and mutinous riffraff to end Sylvia Tilly. <laughs> I'm surprised she hasn't killed them all herself. In the meantime, I have orders to get you to the bridge, and I intend to obey them. Follow me. The path's blocked by security fields. Not a problem. There's no code written I can't crack. I'll have those fields down in short order. Cover me while I work. You might have some uninvited guests soon. Understood. Work fast, Chief. Go, go, go! Oh, somebody keep your... Phaser on her. Done yet? All right, I got it. The security fields are using my authorization codes now. If you want me to finish, baby, keep them off me for more than five seconds. Get to the bridge. The turbo lift is that way. Watch your corners. No quarter, no prisoners. Attack! Ambush! <laughs> Give me a second to get this field down. of security fields on that deck. I take it you found Chief Patel? We did. We're on our way to the bridge. Some good news for a change, though I'm not terribly surprised. A woman's harder to kill than a honey badger. Ready for the bad news? Let's have it. I'm afraid the Klingons have taken several lower decks and are moving in your direction. Keep your weapons hot. They're killing everyone they run into. I don't think they'll make an exception for you. Stick with Patel and get up here as soon as you're able. Acknowledged. Even out. I hear Klingon disruptors up ahead. You ready for anything? 
Now we gotta fight Klingons. Feel in the way. Hold your position. There's been an incident. Uh, what kind of incident? The Klingon kind. Specifically, they've taken control of main engineering. Killed my chief engineer and his security team in the process. They're threatening to breach the core if I don't surrender. That is not gonna happen. Should we evacuate then? Evacuate sounds a lot like retreat to me, and that is not gonna happen either. This is my ship, and I will not abandon her. Take Patel, get down to engineering, deal with the Klingons, and make sure that core breach never happens. We'll do what we can, Captain. I recommend you deal with this problem quickly. Neither of us will enjoy their solution. Tilly out. Right. Let's get moving. <sighs> Klingons probably cracked Rathman's code. Idiot. I don't know who that is. First, seems there's more Klingons down there than we thought. You'll have to fight your way to main engineering. Good news? They'll be shooting at the mutineers down there. Might make your job a little easier, huh? Acknowledged. Maybe now. Targeting vital systems. They're just trashing the place. Main engineering is just up ahead. Let's hustle, people. Rathman's dead, and we will be too if we don't get that terror lift open. I'm good. I think we got it. We all die this day. Die well. Die with honor. It's not my first tango with Klingons. Looks like the Klingons were in a hurry. That is some sloppy work. I was solving engineering problems like that when I was a first year cadet. Rebalance the matter antimatter inducers and adjust the flow rate to 0.5. That should bring the core back from the brink quite nicely. Understood. I'll handle it. Hope you know what you're doing. That warp core looks fit to breach. Eh, that looks okay to me. Nicely done. Cut it a little close there with the core, but since we're all still here, I'm gonna call that a win. So, since we've got a little room to breathe here, why don't you come up to the bridge? There's a turbo lift nearby that I've relaxed the security locks on. We're on our way. Remember, keep the weapons hot. Face to face at last. Captain, 
Are you sure we can trust these assholes? Language! Ugh, oh, cursing. It's such a filthy habit. You did well against the mutineers. They weren't fond of my decision to seek asylum, I'm afraid. While unpleasant, it is better than the fate we left behind. In our universe, Pavo is a cruel, deadly entity. Being sent to that system is a death sentence. And sent there we were. I suppose an enemy decided it was time for me to retire. Permanently. But enough about that. Let's get down to business, shall we? Hmm. Business indeed. First and foremost, I have no interest in hostilities with your government. I meant what I said about asylum. Well, good. Do you speak for your entire crew? I do. The mutiny was unfortunate, but what can I say? We're Terrans. Dominance is often challenged and must be maintained. The mutineers saw an opportunity, took their shot, and missed. Big time. Everyone left saw the price they paid for their failure. Believe me, the rest of the crew will fall in line. I'm fortunate you were here to deal with the problem. Apparently, my chief of security felt like spending time in an agonizer booth during most of the conflict. Honestly, Patel, if I knew you liked the booth so much, I'd keep you in one more often. Why, you... are right to say so, Captain. It won't happen again. <clears throat> See to it that it doesn't. I'd hate to replace you, Chief, but I will if I have to. Um, what are the next steps, Captain? Next steps are to get my vessel back in working order before those Klingons come back to finish us off. Now that's not going to be easy. I'm down a Chief Engineer, the power grid is a shambles, we have multiple hull breaches, and we're nowhere near battle ready. Right. Maven to Valorous. Mrs. Valorous, is everything all right? We detected a surge in the ISS Discovery's warp core, but now it's operating at a safe level. I need an engineering team here ASAP. Our shields are down. If the Klingons don't get us, it's only a matter of time before the Ion Storm does. Monitor that console while I try to get the main deflector back online. I'd order my chief science officer to do it, but she chose her <clears throat> loyalties poorly. Uh, Admiral, who, who, who is that talking over to Kong? Anyway, understood, Admiral. We'll be in directly to main engineering and get to work. Well, or so. Anything we do here on the bridge? Uh, okay, you just told us. Okay. So, I don't know what happened there. Dialogue. Skipped ahead somehow. All right, let's see what we can here. Start a diagnostic on the shield emitters. I'll start to recalibrate the main deflector. Uh, Patel, you don't have to get off the... Console. Does she no normally do this? Kill everyone, but the captain is mine. Okay, the main deflector is in position. Recalibrate it now. Hello, Art Sun. You too? Like Get off the console, Get man. Consoles are not for standing on. Sensors are picking up numerous Klingon vessels decloaking. Combat is imminent. I strongly recommend you return to the ship at your earliest convenience. Understood. We're almost... Uh, yeah, we're almost done here. Captain should be on their own ship in the heat of battle. Go. We'll take it from here. Maven to engineering. Staff report. Impulse power restored, Admiral, but only just. If you want... If you want this to be more of an patch job, we'll need more time. Well, time's up. Return to the ship immediately. Thank you. If we survive this, I look forward to repaying the favor. Now go, before it's too late. 
Please don't. Anyway, Valorous, energize. Loading. I swear to know too that the longer I play this game, the longer the loading times get. Admiral, the Klingons are hailing us. Load on the main screen. Um, the situation here is complex, Captain. There is nothing complex about it. I mean to destroy that ship, and you with it, if you get in my way. Be smart. Your ship has the technical advantage. We have the advantage of numbers. And we are Klingon. Stand with discovery, and you will lose. Fight with us, and you will live to see another day. Well, because I'm Starfleet, and they asked for asylum, technically Discovery is under my protection right now. Even though I don't really trust Mirror Universe Terrans, but no. I'm Starfleet, sorry buddy, I can't go. Then you are a fool, fighting in a burning house. Try to die well. Ah, <sighs> red alert. All hands ballast stations, you guys know the drill. Die with honor, yada yada yada, okay. Discovery is altering course. They are uh, where did Discovery go? Lowered her shields. Reading transporter signatures to Pavo's surface. What are they doing? your captain reading numerous Klingon vessels be cloaking Search what? Shields! Shields! Admiral, whatever that was hit us hard. Receiving casualty reports from all decks. What the goddamn hell happens? Uh, helm, evasive maneuvers, tactical. Give me status report. Shields are at full. Deflectors online. All weapons ready. It appears to have bypassed all of our defense systems, like they weren't there. Helmet. Analysis. Do you have any freaking clue what hit us? Based on what the sensors recorded during the attack, it appears we were hit by psionic energy, manifested into an energy pulse of considerable magnitude. The attack originated on Pavo. 
Pavo attacked us. The, you mean the planet? Uh, wait, why, why did I even assume that? Is there like a death ray on Pavo? I mean, why? Admiral, we're being hailed. It's Captain Tilly. On screen. I don't like red in my ledger. You saved my ship, so I spared yours. This time. Next time I won't be so... sentimental. First and last warning. Leave the system while you're able. And what do you hope to gain from this, Tilly? Did you hit your head in that fight? I think what I have to gain here is pretty obvious. Everything. Pavo's reach is infinite. After a few more demonstrations of its power, everyone in the Quadrant will have no choice but to swear allegiance to me. Or, you know, die. Empress Tilly. That has a nice ring to it, don't you think? You know, I would say curse your inevitable betrayal, but I mean... Ah, oh, you should have known. By the way, you, you can't really technically be Empress here. There's no Terran Empire here, so... I don't know. Whatever. You're, you're insane. There's no way you'll succeed. Sane. Insane. I'm the one calling the shots here. And I'm pretty sure I told you to get lost or get wrecked. So who's the insane one again? Me? Or the lunatic staring defiantly down the barrel of the ultimate weapon? Tick tock, pal. My trigger finger's getting itchy. Hmm. Give me a status report on the planet. I am reading an energy signature on the surface of Pavo. It matches the initial blasts from the planet. Another attack could be imminent. We will not survive a direct hit. I strongly recommend we exit the system immediately. Alright. Helm, get us out of here. Maximum warp. I'll be back. Captain Tilly's betrayal, while unfortunate, was not entirely unexpected. Her use of this agonizer technology to weaponize the ecosystem of Pavo is a matter of utmost concern. I believe I can devise a means to neutralize her technology, but I will need time to conduct research. Rest assured that I will endeavor to counter Tilly's insidious actions as soon as possible. I ask that you prepare to take action at a moment's notice. The lives of untold millions, including our own, could be at stake. I mean, who knew that Pava was a giant Death Star being thing? Ooh. I think somebody in the Federation could have warned people about this, but no, no, no. Ah, uh, see, rewards. There is a generic particle generator, which is not important. You can get those anywhere. The only unique item is to return the crystal shield matrix, which is an okay shield. It's nothing special at this point in the game, but you know, I'll take it. Congratulations, Admiral. Let's restock everybody and prepare for the next part of this. Okay, next part of this illusion of communication. If communication is an illusion, are you really communicating at all? Probably not. Our information about events at Pavo is incomplete. But I believe the Terrans are undertaking a large-scale operation there. They have managed to coerce the planet's consciousness into serving their violent needs. Furthermore, they've turned Pavo's transmitter into a potent weapon. Time is of the essence. 
While the Alliance is mobilizing a larger response, we are, in effect, the first responders. It falls to us to do what we can to stop Captain Tilly and her crew before they solidify their control of Pavo. Failing to do so could be catastrophic. Ideally, we should return the Discovery and her crew to their proper time and space. Under the circumstances, removing the Terran presence from Pavo is the more immediate, logical need. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do it. I'm all out of tea now. Based on my readings, I believe the Terrans have managed to alter Pavo's song. Somehow, Tilly and her crew have manipulated it into a new type of harmonic waveform. This waveform is potent enough to realign the space around the planet, shifting it into a different quantum signature. As a result, a number of interphasic rifts have opened within the system. For what purpose? I believe she is attempting to bring things from the mirror universe to ours. Logic suggests an invasion force based on previous encounters with the Terran Empire. We are not the only ones interested in this behavior. The time-displaced Klingons are moving to investigate as well. Considering previous encounters, the situation could become volatile quickly. Hmm. Okay. Let's deal with this before it gets out of hand. Wreckages from a ship. A massive one. If the Terrans were trying to get reinforcements through here, it didn't work. We're picking up life signs of several on several of the larger pieces of debris. The emergency life support systems are failing, however. They don't have a lot of time left. Hear that beam be uh, I'm I'm Starfleet, okay. Prep sick bay for casualties begin transporting the survivors aboard. They'll be thankful, won't they? I'm sure they will be. rescued several survivors. The uninjured ones are being held in the brig, and the casualties are in sickbay. We found several who were cocooned in meta cocooned in mycelial threads. Apparently the wreckage passed through some kind of subspace mycelial network, and now several of the survivors are wrapped in these fungal strands. Oh, say that again, Taro. What? Did you just talk about classified materials in front of everyone on the bridge that we shouldn't know about? Eh, whatever. Uh, will the cocooned ones survive? Too early to tell. The indications are generally positive. 
Apparently the mycelial whipwork is very durable. It may have protected them from the disaster that claimed their ship. Uh, keep me posted if their status changes. In the meantime, we need to get planet side. I have the coordinates for the science station on the planet's surface. It is logical to assume that the Terrans have taken control of the research team and the facilities. Preparing for an armed response would be prudent. I agree. Alright, who's coming? Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Bring that one. Bring Andy. And you know what? The Red Sun loves action. We'll bring him. Plus, he provides a team bonus too because of his gamma armor. It's, it's always nice to have. The research facility has already been attacked. We must see to the welfare of the researchers, if any survived. We should check the shelters. The shelter area. The shelters. Yes. Your assistance is appreciated. I have recovered. My injuries we are, are not fortunate life that the Terrans did not kill everyone. They were more concerned with our research data and equipment. Our work appears to have given the Terrans what they need to communicate with Pavo in ways we cannot. They are now able to alter the planet's consciousness causing it to reflect their own dark nature. We'll beam your people to safety before we deal with deal with the Terrans. Our security personnel should remain with us. We will need all the help we can get against the Terran forces. A logical conclusion. While trying to communicate with the planet, we have learned that it uses crystal matrices as transmitters. We have a small collection of crystal samples. They may be useful to re-establish the planet's normal biosphere, free from Terran influence. Let's pick up a let's pick up a few of those crystals before we continue. Ah, crystals. I was able to take readings of the area. Terran technology is not subtle, especially agonizer gear. I am reading it in several nearby locations. A meadow, a riverbank, and a narrow pass. I am also reading several Terran life signs in those areas. I do not expect a warm welcome from them. Mm -hmm. uh, once we've dealt with the Terrans, we can turn off their agonizers and restabilize the planet. There is a canyon that exits to another glade of Pavan life a short distance to the south of here. Logically, the Terrans would seek out places where they can use their technology to attempt to subvert the planet. Okay. We should keep an eye out for their devices then. Such as that one over there. The device there, near the crystals, disables it to interrupt the Terrans' hold on pop. Yeah, now we 
wait. There, all better. There, there, little planet. You're all better now. We'll get rid of the bad people. Is anybody seeing a ghost? There, there's a ghost. What is that thing? It's like putting a band-aid on a wound or a auto suture on a wound. All better now. We should continue before the Terrans send reinforcements. Curious. I sense something. It's they the are attempting to communicate. Blue telepathy. ghost. Don't do it. You did it anyway. They are angry. Oh no, it's a paw wraith. Oh. Maybe? No, it's not. Kill them! Kill them all! Uh, Doctor, are you okay? Fascinating. The Terrans have used their agonizer technology to induce a state of hostility in the Pavan biosphere. It is lashing out, using its empathic powers to project its pain and rage into other living beings. If the Terrans are able to do this on a large scale, the planet could serve as a massive telepathic weapon. It would be able to subvert or kill anyone, anywhere. We should disable this technology wherever we find it on Pavo. I'm glad you think that was fascinating, because I nearly had to kill you. Anyway, why didn't the, why didn't the attack affect me or my officers? Wouldn't call it plot armor, but you know. Yeah. An interesting question. I believe the biosphere has a stronger connection to myself and my team. It may have instinctively struck the most familiar minds first. That being said, I do not believe it will continue to exclusively attack members of my team. Only those with the ability to harm the biosphere will be immune. Are you able to continue on? We yes. have to worry about you. Now that I have experienced the psionic attack, I can take steps to shield my mind against it. The security officers, on the other hand, do not have my level of training in the mental arts. It would not be logical for them to continue on with us. Well, I don't think they're in con condition to continue on anyway, but 
Very well. We'll bring the security team up to the ship. They can take a nice long nap. By the way, there's actually quite a bit of audio glitch glitchiness happening in this map. I, I do certainly notice it. It's like every now and then the audio just kind of just poops out. Especially the sound effects. I don't know why. I don't know why it does that. Supposed to, I think there's supposed to be something this way too. A uh, secret, yes. The uh, Terran Empire shuttle is over here. supposed to be a special item here. What is this? Ah, okay, there's a... You get a Discovery Era Phaser Sniper Rifle here. Mark 14. So if you like Phaser Sniper Rifles, here's a good one. Again, at this point in the game, it's really nothing special, so... It seems that in addition to using their agonizer technology on the planet itself, the Terrans are blocking access to the central pillar with force fields and selected areas. Doubtless, they wish to prevent interference in their captain's plans. Hmm. We need to disable those force fields and stop their captain. It's uh, just as easy as me pressing a button here. And done. There's that person. What was her name again? Oh, it's a giant stick. Crystal is on it. Oh, you're good! Seriously! I sent my best to deal with you! My best! And here you are, alive and kicking! Well, bravo! It is illogical for you to continue, Captain. Whatever you are doing to Pavo needs to end. Ah, the famous Vulcan logic! Get it straight. Pavo and I, we're just getting started. Oh, and that part about sending my best at you? I lied! I think you're gonna need more than your best here. Why don't I 
give you a little taste of my big gun. Disable the controls to the left before she forces Palm no. to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. I can do this all day. You? So much. I can do this all day too. Time's up. Ready to die? Disable the control on the front before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. I'm on it. I'm on it. Ever had an agonizer down your throat? No? You're about to. Now this will be a real split. For me. Disable the controls behind the spire before she forces Pavo to release a lethal wave of psychic energy. You just got to my last nerve and jumped all over it. I saw this ending. You know, it's only a matter of time before we beat you, right? You don't have the stomach to stop us, but we're more than capable of ending you. And I intend to make that happen. That seems unlikely. Your campaign of terror here is over, Captain. Oh, I'm not done yet, Vulcan. Till next time, you assholes. Uh, what did she do? Fascinating. Is that all you can say about that? Interesting. She has somehow used Pavo's transmitter as a long-range transporter. Tilly could be anywhere in the quadrant now. If we are fortunate, we might find further clues among the Terran equipment. They did go to considerable trouble to arrange the site. Yeah, we should check their gear by the spire here. I think we have found our phaser sniper rifle. It may be advisable to return to your vessel so that we can deal with the situation in local space. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. All right, beam up. Now that you have secured the research preserve, we must find a way to return the remaining Terrans and their vessel to their proper time and place. Recommendations? 
Maybe I can just call a queue and have them snap them back to where they need to be. We can use the Ion Storm to send Discovery back. Specially modified probes can amplify the storm in specific locations. This can generate a localized ion effect and open a gateway to the proper point in space and time. Or we could do that, I suppose. No well, convincing Discovery transfer back could be difficult. Indeed, especially given the Terran predilection for hostility. All right, shields up. Fire to disable. Just like that. This is pointless. As much as it pains me to say this. We surrender. What are your terms? Stand down. You need to return to your proper time and place. Otherwise Daniels will probably get on my ass about this. Don't want to see his face. Fine by me. Tilly slinked off to parts unknown and left us to die. I'm the captain now, and I say send us back if you can. Very well. Return to your initial entry position. Don't try any more tricks. Your display has been updated with the locations to place probes around Discovery. Once the probes are in place, they will trigger an ion flare to open the gateway that will take Discovery back. Alright. Easier said than done. Agreed. The time-displaced Klingons are still out there, and they have shown a distinct interest in destroying the Discovery. Along with all of us. Right. Now, take us to the launch points. Tactical. Keep watching for Klingons. Keep those Klingon ships off us! Maybe the Klingons when I go back to the 21st century. Oh wait, never mind. They're Klingons. I want to die with honor. I will grant them a good day to death.
Klingons off our back. Otherwise, this is gonna be a real short trip. Shields are critical! We're losing them! Emergency power to shields! Now! So match to discovery. Prepare for transit. Once the research team is able to resume their duties, facet, we will begin to analyze ion store impact of agonizer technology. It's like a probe inside a probe rotating there. Considering what we have just witnessed, we will be logical to make sure Chile and her crew didn't leave any unexpected surprises on the planet as well. Probes are in for now, position. I believe Activate we can in. safely depart the system. Okay. Yep. So much talking over himself. The ion storm is subsiding, and we're receiving standard readings from Pavo. It's broadcasting its song as normal. No aberrations. No distress calls. It would seem things are returning to a calm, peaceful level. Oh, well, that's good news. Three, two, one. Engage. Uh, okay. Once the research team is able to resume their duties, we will begin to analyze the impact of agonizer technology on the Pavan ecosystem. Considering what we have just witnessed, it will be logical to make sure Tilly and her crew didn't leave any unexpected surprises on the planet as well. For now, I believe we can safely depart the system, Admiral. Yeah, the, the audio... Dialogue clips are, like, jumbled up in this mission for some reason. Alright, we're done. That was our introduction to Captain Killy. She'll be back. But not for a while. It will take some time to evaluate the impact of the Terran occupation of Pavo. The agonizer technology they used to manipulate the planetary biosphere was invasive and damaging. I'm concerned about the effect it had upon the Pavan ecology and how that will affect future attempts at interaction with the planet. The fact that Captain Tilly remains at large is troubling. Her technological prowess and propensity for violence should make her presence in this time quite disruptive. Quite disruptive. Should she acquire current technology and return to her own time, it is possible that she will rewrite history as we know it, turning our universe into one more like her own, if not worse. In the meantime, we both have our duties to attend to. It has been agreeable working with you. Live long and prosper. See you later, Chief Scientist so much. Actually, no, we're not going to see you again. Alright, so mission rewards. We get the Pavan Healing Crystal. This is the only unique item you get. It is a ground item. And it just gives you a mild regeneration effect on ground. So... It's okay. And the other item is a generic engineering console, which you can get anywhere, so we're just gonna take the crystal. Awesome. Alright, so we're done with that now. So now we can go do some event stuff. Uh, let's see, let me... Let me queue up for one of... Beast events here. So like I mentioned, this is the last of the event campaigns. You have these two TFOs you can do. And you Swarm, which I think is the one... Is the Gamma Quadrant... TFO in space against the, um... Burke. Some people like it. I don't really care for it. It goes on for, like, too long, I feel like, so... I'd rather do Bug Hunt. Bug Hunt's a little bit more fun to do. Let me queue up for that. And, uh, right away. That's going. Alright. So 
Welcome to Pariah 3. I'm Lieutenant John Vanderveer, and I'll be your demolitions expert on this trip. What are our objectives, Lieutenant? The mission is to infiltrate into the hive, locate and then destroy the spawn mother. My job is to blow the hive into chunks. These bugs are smart. They'll figure out what I'm doing. I need you to watch my back and keep the bugs off my six. Sounds good. We shoot the bugs. Let's roll. Oh, are they like holding us back now? We used to be able to get a little closer. Kill alarm bugs. the alarm bugs being a thing. This has something new they've added. Scans show that we need to jump down this narrow fissure in the rock. Be careful, I don't know what's waiting for us at the bottom.
According to our scans, there's a tunnel under us. Give me a moment. I'll clear a path. Fire in the hole! Watch that first step. This is the part where you might want to get some backup going. At least some other time. Boom. Don't disappear, security team. Don't, don't, don't do it. I think I can get. Cover me! No, oh, don't leave, you assholes. Ugh. deal with the spawn mother. You know how to deal with it, just shoot it. Shoot it till it dies. It did make the spawn mother a little stronger. Usually it dies like pretty quick. That's the last thing of it this time. You have to kill the remaining enemies this time too. Can't just can't just warp out as soon as the spawn runner's dead. There we go. Done. That works. Sweet. And we actually get um. mother, but we need to fall back so I can set off the charges and bring down. Unless you get the purple quality. Rep rewards in this. Nice. So one progress, you need to do 14 progress to fill that up. I didn't get this thing. Oh, it's a kit module. I was hoping it would just be like a separate summon uh, consumable. And I could just stick it on one of my bridge officers, but I don't know. That, that would be too fun if I could do that. Can't have fun. Alright, let me do Red Lord here. Then we will. We can pretty much just wrap up for tonight.
And done. I think that's going to be it for tonight. We accomplished the uh, beginning of the Terran, or at least one part of Terran stuff. I mean, like I mentioned, Tilly will come back later. It's going to be a while. But, you know, our first step into more of the discovery content in the game. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Like I said at the beginning here, I'm going to be spacing some of these out a bit and it will probably won't be as often because again i want to try to time things so that i can end when the anniversary event happens in february so anyway i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time have a good night and take care Bye bye